Previously on Drake Paragon. This is where I learned how to sail at community boating. Sailing here for all. Theoretical stuff about how to sail. You grab the main and you grab a rudder and a tiller. It's quite often every single one of these boats is out. And then the boat went over 180. My favorite thing about Boston. Ha 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 ha
She's got like the best seat in the house. Here, it says you can walk, except cars are able to turn in. Yeah, right on red. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like that in Ireland. No. The building right there is the Boston Public Library. When it opened in 1895, the new Boston Public Library was proclaimed a palace for the people. Today, the Boston Public Library contains approximately 23.7 million items, making it the second largest public library in the United States. Today, the Boston Public Library consists of the McKim Building and the newer Johnson Building. The two buildings are attached and interconnected with interior passageways and together they contain 930,000 square feet of space. The McKim Building was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1973 and was designated a National Historic Landmark in 1986 for its architectural and historical significance. Incredible original art. I think they're all college students. It just reminds me of Ghostbusters. Really? <laughs> I used to have nightmares with the film as a kid. Really? And I walked away and I was like, that's a flashback. That's Boston. And then where are we going to do? We're going to go to the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to start here and then we're going to come over to here. Mm -hmm. In Lunenburg. Lunenburg. In Nova Scotia. Mm -hmm. We're going to stay there for a little bit and then. Like a week. Much longer sail. Here to there. 
Mm -hmm. which is St. John's. St. John's, Newfoundland. And then we're going to jump off and go like that. Yep, to get out of the Labrador current. Then we're going to go up way Pretty smooth sailing. This is not like sailing in the Charles River on the Mercury. Sorry, don't get me started. We need some coffee. Let's go. Well, let's pack up our barrel of peanut butter oats and whiskey. It'll be fun. We have just passed from the old side to the new modern side, and we're in the basement. We're going out this way. Another Irish pub. There's a few, I'm getting them finding them. Go grab a seat outside. Okay. I feel like we're looking around and we're seeing Boston and you're looking around and you're seeing so many memories. And noticing what's changed. What about the people? Any change in the people really? No. It's interesting because I grew up in Boston. So I remember taking the train out of my neighborhood into Boston and back as a little kid and looking at everybody else on the train and they were all, you know, much older than me. They were, most of them were college students. A little bit later on I became a college student and I'd take that same train. I was then in the majority, you know, there were mostly college students on that train. Now I'm, now I'm 43. <laughs> and I take that train and everybody on that train is a baby. <laughs> Not as many bookstores and record stores as before. I can remember you know, decades ago <laughs> when there were a lot of bookstores in Boston yeah. and uh, a lot of record stores. There used to be a huge one down the street called Tower Records. It had like seven floors of records and then later CDs. Yeah. The internet, Apple iTunes, and Amazon shopping is has put those stores out of business. Batteries charged. Not really. <laughs> so, how many people live in Boston? I don't know. It'd be an interesting. Just Would it be to look up? Like about four million. Four. Oh, so, would it be four million? Are we talking about just the city of Boston? No, like, I mean, like, the outer city of Boston as yeah, well. Yeah, metropolitan Boston. Maybe. I'm just thinking, like, that's the population of Ireland. Do you know what the population of Ireland is? It's four million. Four million. Okay, so where are we headed now? We're going down. Oh. That's the thing he's sailing. Yeah, this is the Charles River. Dragon boat. Oh, dragon boat. No, what's a dragon boat? Well, it's, on a elongated boat like that, you have about 20 rowers. You have someone in the front who's beating on a drum to like get them into the rhythm of the rowing. And then you have someone, I believe, on the aft end who's steering the rudder. And they have dragon boat races. So they get a bunch of those. And they're very like low and long. It's just a lot of fun. They have them in Oriental. Stretch. He's going under the bridge. All the sailboats stay on this side of the bridge. You can go for 20 miles up the river and it's starting to go. And it's really scenic sailing around here, seeing Cambridge on that side, seeing Boston on this side as you sail around in the Charles River. Just beautiful. I am like, oh, there they go. <sighs> Over there is MIT. That dome, I think, is one of the main buildings. 
The MIT campus spans across approximately one mile of the north side of the Charles River. The Great Dome is at the center of the campus and is one of the most recognizable of MIT landmarks. The Great Dome is a frequent target of practical jokes by undergraduate students. In 2009, MIT students built a replica of the Apollo Lunar Module on top of the Great Dome. It's this huge stretch over there that's just acres and acres of MIT buildings. Onward! <laughs> I used to jog around the Charles River. I'd run and run and run and run and come up to a bridge, and then I'd make the decision if I was going to take the bridge and start working my way back, or if I'd go to the next bridge. <laughs> One more bridge. I think it's a great town to be a college student. So we're no longer in Boston anymore. Really? Yeah. We're now entering Cambridge. What a great place to learn how to sail. You know, every time being taken out by somebody new, you know, meeting somebody new. I love taking people out for instruction at community boating. When I go to sign out a boat, they'd say, you want to take somebody out for instruction? And I'd say, yeah, sure. And they'd say, you want to take out more than one? Sometimes I'd take out as many as five people, all of whom didn't know each other, all of whom wanted to go out for instruction. I'd take them out on a sonar keel boat, sail out here in the Charles River and explain to like five newbies who didn't know how to sail, how to sail. When you get taken out for instruction or you take somebody out for instruction, it could be student, it could be a professional, it could be a, you know, a professor or some visiting scientist from another country. Yes. You never know who you're going to get when you take somebody out for instruction. So probably a lot of the students that you see are MIT students because this is MIT. Boston and North Carolina. Classrooms, administrative buildings, computer labs. MIT Comedy Night, snacks provided. I used to really be into Japanese animation and there's a Japanese animation club here at MIT and once a week they have an auditorium where they play a Japanese animation film. Yeah. The MIT Outing Club, dedicated to the pursuit of outdoor recreation and solar electric vehicle theme. Well, and I guess everybody goes through there. I'm not sure what this lab is. Liquid nitrogen. Really doesn't happen like that. Is that liquid nitrogen? Yes. Oh my god, that's so cool! Alright, no. now liquid nitrogen, my finger. I'm Just Don't stick your head in that thing. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> the nano lab. Nano? Nano mechanical technology laboratory. Just club. <laughs> School of Science. <sighs> this is where you went rollerblading.
building is so wild looking, huh? Yeah, I think it's on the front cover of my static engineering. Really? Yeah. We're gonna work our way to Mass Ave and walk up into Central Square and I'm gonna take you to this kick-ass blues jazz bar drink whiskey. Yeah? Yeah. Well, you know, this is kind of cool. I'm showing you around Boston and Cambridge and it's also familiar to me. But it's interesting to think that pretty soon we're gonna be in places that none of us has ever been to. Figuring it out together. If it is, would be okay because everybody's gonna speak English. Yeah. But I want to say that they're somewhat autonomous now. Yeah. And that they were a part of uh, Scotland? Uh, or maybe, no, maybe they were Danish. Yeah. We're going to find out. I know we go right once we get to be famous. <laughs> so, is Cambridge called Bean Town? Bean Town? No, that's Boston. Oh. You're on the wrong side of the river, rather than being to kill you. It's quite a bike shop. No. So this is Central Square, Cambridge. Every Tuesday night, eh? It's 8 o'clock now. Really? Here's for the cruising life. Another, uh, another wonderful day. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Nothing like Norfolk, nothing like Atlantic City, nothing like New York. No. Nothing like anywhere we've been. Distinct. Like every new place that we go to, yeah. I wish we could stay longer. And I guess that's good. I mean, that yeah. means that we're having a good time. I was just saying, though, you can talk to anybody. Yeah. <laughs> you go and you that's your, that's your superpower. Yeah. You give me the gap. Cool. Uh, what do you think? They're amazing. They were they amazing. Were amazing. Oh my god. Like, the guy in the mandolin when he plays solo and then everybody in the bar just goes, well done. Well done. And there were the bridge kids. This is a good idea. Do you remember? 
remember high five pizza. <laughs> I swear it was 12 o'clock, like around 12 or 6 hours. We've been walking all day, like it's mm. really like, you've got to see so much. We've today. not been walking all day. I wonder how many miles we walked today so far. I don't know. We can probably figure it out if we can go last. Oh, well, we've gone up and down and here and there and up this street and down that street and back up this street. So it's not like a straight line from water to here. Yeah. Welcome to Cambridge. <laughs> Yeah, baby. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, there's not too far. A little, little bit of a walk, but not. Well, it's okay. Anyway, that's why I think this is like probably in Galloway Rock. This is all Harvard University. <laughs> I'm also going to comment about that because by default they'll be able to do it. I don't think I So where are we now? We're on the red line. I just left Harvard. I'm going back to Waterloo Marina after a whirlwind tour. After the most fabulous night of karaoke yeah. I've ever had. Did you like the karaoke? Wow. Words. Cannot describe the karaoke. I have only one word for you. Karaoke. Ha, 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 ha.